pull up the MLS so you can pull up the old MLS numbers okay so typically what I'll do is I'll print this out just print quick and uh, you're on your way now once I get that I go to the MLS and I will do a search typically I'll do active um, contingent pending inspection pending and sold I don't do canceled temporarily off market expired because they didn't sell for a reason so I'm not going to use that data okay uh, and then I will go over here now beds my house has four beds it's got 2.5 baths it's 3,900 square feet so usually I'll go 200 to 300 either way depending so I'll go um, depending on how big the house is uh, to 3,400 now when you get into the houses this big there's usually a, a bigger gap on the higher end so instead of doing 3400 I might just do like 4000 or something just to get enough comps okay so uh, then I go to the map and I will put in my address and for some reason the, this isn't working today and let me see if it works again it doesn't but I know where my house is so I go all the way down and I do the old-fashioned way I pull it up Oop. all right so there's two in my neighborhood basically what you want to do is you want to get as close to your neighborhood as you can now houses in my neighborhood don't sell very often so I'd have to really go back and um, see what's going on there so this one is actually in federal way it's not in a northeast coma so um, I probably wouldn't be able to use that one um, nice house though good price yeah looks good to me um, so nothing showed up so I have one of two options I can either go out wider so I could pull these up even though they're in a little different neighborhood or I can ease up on my criteria so let's say I'll go a two and a half plus um, and go back to the map and see what that gave me all right still nothing there's another one in around the corner in federal way those are nice they have the really nice views so they're gonna be a little more expensive than mine I just have a Mount Rainier view not a Puget Sound view okay so I gotta go back to my character my uh, criteria and maybe go uh, four bus and then maybe do uh, 24 like I said to 4,000 see what happens okay go back to the map all right so finally one in my neighborhood showed up so 525 um, now you'll see some other ones here uh, 800 let's see um, yeah those all have different views so I might I probably won't use that one what was the price of that one 618 probably won't use that one either I might use these though um, yeah you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use everything in Northeast Tacoma and then if it's got a view I'll uh, shy away from that view I'm gonna stay pretty close though um, to make sure I got them all okay so then I'll go to results they gave me 19 results so that's pretty good and these are all in Northeast Tacoma because I want to make sure I have a Northeast Tacoma address and not a federal way address uh, so <clears throat> next thing I do is I'll click on them and I will go through them so I'll click that uh, is my house better than this one um, my house is pretty similar to this one so I'm going to click on that it's a little bit smaller uh, that's okay uh, and then I'm going to click the next one and this one's not as nice as mine I'm still going to click on that okay because that's pretty comparable um, and then um, this one is pretty comparable You know, don't like the paint colors but that's in my neighborhood and sold for five or still active at 535 okay and that one was a repo pretty much same square footage same everything so that's a pretty good comp so we'll have to keep an eye on that one 
and see if it uh, actually sells. So this is Melissa's house, um, same square footage, mine's 20 years newer. Um, she sold for $450, um, and then I could go through and, and just keep going through the photos, right? So been in that house. Um, basically, I'm going to click them all. I'm not going to go through them here on this video. Uh, that one's pretty nice. Let me see. Yeah, 419. Yep, I have got a Mount Rainier view pretty similar to that one. Mine's a little nicer than that one. Uh, so that's at 499. Okay, this one doesn't even compare really because it's um, it's only in the 400s. Okay, this one's probably a little more. Um, 2,800 square feet. I have a feeling they have a uh, a mountain view. I think they tried to sell this house once before too, and it did sell. This one's pretty nice. Maybe a little over the top. I think I would probably get rid of some of that furniture. Let's see if they've got a view. Ah, no view. Oh, a little view. So a little view there. So that one's pretty nice too. Okay, that one's a little more expensive, 4,000 square feet. It's got some views. I'm going to take that one off. Okay, now we're into the solds. Um, this one's same. Uh, different uh, builder, though. So um, mine's a kind of custom 1970s, 1997. My property is bigger. Yeah, this one's pretty ugly, so we're not going to use that one. Okay, um, this one's more like mine. Wow, they really oh, auction property. So this is an auction property, so I'm going to take that one off. I won't use that one. Uh, we don't want auction properties. Okay. This one had multiple offers. 402. It's a little cheaper. Um, that's not very attractive. So um, that one's not as nice as mine. So okay. And then what I'll do is I'll just keep going. So um, I'll keep going down the line. Um, this one looks a lot like mine. So let's see. Okay, that's cute. Nice floor. Got a brand new floor. Dining room. Okay, kitchen. Kind of the same. I have new appliances. That one's a little nice. Yep, master. Yep, looks the same. Okay, so that's a pretty good comp. 475. I think I might go a little bit higher because I have a view and they don't. They live on the golf course. Okay, about the same square footage though. All right, so let's just assume that I went through all these and these are the ones that I picked. Okay. Um, that one's brand new and it's on. Okay. All right, that one's got a pretty nice. Nope, no view, so I'll use that one. And that one's a lot bigger, so we won't use this one. And they, I think they have a view. All right, so what happens is um, once we do all that, um, then what I'm going to do is go to print and then CMA one-liner. I'm going to pull up the CMA one-liner and I'm going to take a look. So these are the actives and the average is 169 for those. Um, now those don't have views. Uh, the one at 161 has a view, so we might use that, and that's in my neighborhood. So, so we're thinking 162-ish. All right, North Shore Parkway, blah, blah, blah. So the average sold is 162. The low is 144, and the high is 180, and none of these had uh, views. So, um, all right, so we'll kind of take a look at that. Uh, so I have 3,166 square feet. If I times that by 168, that gets me at 531.888. So that kind of tells me where I'm at right in there. All right, so I looked at that. Uh, all looks good. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that, get back to here. Uh, and then um, I'm going to print out that CMA one-liner, though, so that when I... Go to put it in cloud CMA. I have the MLS numbers and so on and so forth. Okay, so I did all that. Now the last step that I do is I go back to the criteria, right? I click off everything. So let's say I'm going to sell my house for 525. Okay, sounds like a good number, right? 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, 500 to 550, and I live in area 94, 95. So I'm going to find out what my competition is. So right now there's three houses within that price range. Uh, here's one of them, Northeast Country Club. Um, a little bit smaller than mine for 519. Okay, I think mine's nicer. Uh, another one on Country Club. This one's a um, little bit smaller for 520. Um, so. Um, okay, and then the last one is actually in my neighborhood for 525, a uh, little more square footage, although I have a better view. He's got a two-car garage. I've got a three. So I'm feeling pretty good, right, because this is my competition. So I might go a little bit higher. I might try 550 and see what happens and see if I can get that just because of the, the additional views. All right, so there you go. That's how we kind of do that. Um, good luck.